Okay, so I'm making a tutorial um, on encrypting your passwords um, for logging in and ch checking to make sure and creating why not um, because I've been really disappointed. By the way, I will be going r decently fast and I do have some files ready because there's no need to repeat the same thing over because you can literally just copy and paste these codes but the rest you should def well you should still understand what they do but the rest you should definitely understand how to code and how to manipulate it so let's get started because you should not be able to know how to code yeah so here I have index page pretty simple to input submit it goes to login.php which isn't there um got a database connection and it goes to this one and that's my password which I'll, I'll delete I don't know why I put that in there cuz I'm gonna show you so first thing we need to do is figure out how our encryption works I have a function with it let me explain everything so the redirect is a simple header redirection nothing to do with password encryption let's jump down to the salt so what assault is, is going to be our 22 characters or more. In our case, it's just going to cut off the 22 because there's no need for more. And it gives us a random string. This way we can use this salt to completely randomize our code. Right? We Because we want to get a almost as random as possible code we can get for the encryption. Also, we're not going to use MD5 or any of that stuff. We're using Blowfish, which has no weaknesses and it's a lot slower, which is actually a good thing because it'll take longer to process. And yeah, so the salt is just going to generate a nice 22 string text. To walk through, this generates a nice random thing. <laughs> I'm just going to sum it up pretty easy. This will get rid of a lot of illegal characters, except for a plus sign, which needs to be replaced. And we just put a decimal. Why not? And then this will just cut it down. So it's actually being called in here, where we generate the salt. Blowfish is actually declared by this. And this is the interval is that it does it. So it could be 11 by just like 10. 10 is a good number. Th don't do 1, because we, we want it to do more processing. And so the format and salt, this is what's going to tell Blowfish what to do. So what Blowfish will do is first I'll find that, and I'll find the salt, and I'll encrypt that and the password. So actually what Blowfish is using to encrypt it is the salt. So what we have here is a way, an encryption that changes on every password, because every, every salt is different, right? Except we can check that password and make sure it's the same by encrypting if we take those 22 strings at the front, right, and we encrypt it with that password, if we get the same result, then we have the same password. So this way, it is impossible to know the password in any way, shape, or form without actually knowing it. See? And it's going to take bots a lot, of, a lot of attempts on hacking to get by. Let's just say years. And years and years but um, this encryption method is better than probably 99% of businesses out there and I suggest you use this because the safety of your website is not only for you it's for everybody who's using your website because people use the same passwords it's a fact as much as people want to say they change them they don't um, yeah simple database connection and so let's get on to making this file yeah. There we go. Login. PHP. So first thing we need to do is require once database of PHP because no matter what it's not going to run without that so you might as well require it compared to getting an error in your clueless um, functions too and let's get the values because what we did here is we submit it using the post method 
and our value for submit is submit and we have username and password pretty easy so let's just get that real quick um, that'll be wow first let's find out just a, sim a safe way make sure submit is set you must declare the name I mean the value as submit for that to work um, now let's get these username I called it I think and I real escape stream so what this is just to prevent SQL injection my SQL I real escape string you can make it to a function if you don't want to really remember it I do that a lot but not in this because I just threw three functions in okay and let's just echo these for now just to make sure we have our databases connected and everything else oh yeah let me get on Palzilla. and I'll just put it in redirect crypt I have an encryption folder but that's not for this um, I'll just throw these in here All right let's see what we get I do make mistakes too so be aware might not work right away okay there we go so let's put storm and password and we got some type of error um, da -da 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 -da. oh yeah true we can't echo out my SQLI real escape strings because they put backslashes between everything that's only when you put into SQL because normally you're not echoing these so I'll put it back right after we test it because backslashes are completely um, it completely denies the fact that it's there for HTML outputs and my SQL too so there we go storm password perfect okay knowing that we have that let's put on our escape strings again right and so now we need to try to find out what a password is well first we need to encrypt a password so let's just make a crypt um, I'm not gonna make a tutorial on how to make a registration unless you really want to but I doubt too many people will be interested in this unless you're actually s very skilled with it and understand it so php include um, functions and our function is password oh. password encrypt and our password let's just do password awesome oh there we go oh oops. I do that a lot accidentally hit the X button don't really mean it so crypt and we have a nice password right so let's do some testing with it right oh god my browser's freaking out. It does that a lot with um, the generator. So, why don't we echo it again? So, it should be the same, right? Th what do you think? not even close. It's going to change every time you try to generate it. 
Um, so how do we check? Well, if you look at the function, like I said before, it's just going to generate a new salt every time. So what we can do is just skip down to this part, right? And let's put this here. Let's echo the hash, which is so you encrypt the password with the hash. Actually, our hash we can use a password because we can have a, we can have twenty two characters or more because it'll disregard the others, and we know our salt's twenty two. So why not just do this password? And we can do this as password. Right? Oh, now we have the same password. So that's how we're going to check. As you can see, it can get a little complex at times, but it's going to be fast once you have it down. It'll, you can literally copy and paste from your websites, but it's always good you understand how it works. You should always understand the code that's in your website. Common pra well best practice definitely so I'll make another video right after this